and you want to stay connected where your hands and your back sides stay together in sync because this is where our power comes from our lower half. The result of our load, our weight transfer, and being aggressive with the knob of our back as we try to make it go through the middle. But this and this coming together, staying connected. And then when we finish down and through, if you can practice finishing with your hands on the back of your neck, not tight, not stiff, not locked out, you'll be able to keep the tension out of your arms. T, softball, machine, BT, practice doing this, and then in the game, do your thing. Because you'll be a lot looser, a lot freer, have a lot more hand speed, your bat head will stay in the zone longer, because here's the bottom line. Pitchers are trying to jack you up with your timing. They want to make you early, they want to make you late. They want you to be late on the heater because you're worried about the changeup. They want you to be too aggressive on the fastball so you roll over the changeup. And you chase the curve. So we want to create a swing, a swing path that'll keep our front shoulder closed, knob of our back coming to where the barrel of the bat comes on the plane of the ball and stays on the plane of the ball for about this long. Because the, the simple fact if you're going to be a hair early or a hair late, about 75% of the time. Very rarely, when you're thinking middle, right into the middle, right back into the middle, does the ball go right back into the middle. But we just want to stay close, stay loose, stay inside, and with to finish on our hands. Tight. swing and it hurts. But if it's loose and strong and I get a low and a weight transfer and all I'm doing is holding the back, never squeezing the back to try and hit it hard. Okay? Alright. Kevin, quick, uh, quick yes. what, would a, what would a follow-through look like for someone who left